I gave cloud computer use access to my entire computer, technically an entire screen, like only one screen. And I've asked it to do certain things and then it successfully managed to do it, but with some small mistakes where it can go completely into a looping mistake. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run cloud computer use locally within your computer. And I, when I say locally, I don't mean like local model. I mean like you can run it on your desktop, not inside a Docker, not inside a cloud environment. Second thing is we are going to see, we are going to ask it to do certain things. You might find it funny and it did a pretty good job in most cases, but in certain cases it needed human help where I show you how to run this and also run this with certain tasks. This is going to be expensive if you have got Anthropic API tokens, but again, this is quite fun and this is literally like something out of a science fiction book. Let's get started with the video. We're going to use agent.exe to control our computer using Anthropic Cloud Computer Use. This is not a Windows application, but it's been named agent.exe. It's a Node.js application or Electron application. You have to duplicate the repo into your computer, go inside that repo. And the only change that you have to do is you have to make changes to the environment variable where you have to add the Anthropic key. Just before that, install all the required libraries, just npm install it. And once you have successfully installed everything, then you can open this in uh, your favorite code editor like Visual Studio Code. Rename the .env.example file as a .env file. So that is the environment variable where you're going to store it. And after you have renamed it, then all you have to do is add your own Anthropic key. So you have to have Anthropic API access. It doesn't require any special access, though you need to have Anthropic API access. At this point, you are well and good to go. Now all you have to do is npm start. This will start the Electron JS application. On the bottom right hand side of my screen, you can see a new Electron JS application popping up. We have already tried to develop Electron JS using cursor, but this is like amazing. So agent.exe has popped up and all I have to do is go there in the text box. I have to give what a computer use has to do. So I'm going to just simply say, go to Excalibur and draw me a nice picture. I want to see what picture AI chooses to draw. And that's it. I've sent this thing. The only thing is I'm going to show you that if you are on Mac, then you need to give certain permissions for the very first time you need to enable certain permissions like screen sharing and accessibility and all those things. But after you have done all those things, it is going to open your browser. In my case, it assumes that it is opening Firefox because it loves Firefox, but some of it opened uh, Safari and it is going to make a few mistakes. I've not edited those mistakes and you're going to see those mistakes. And as you can see here, it assumes that the Firefox is open now and it is going to go to the address bar. It's trying to go to the address bar, but instead of that, by mistake, it actually opens a YouTube video. So it didn't understand until now that it has not opened a YouTube video. I mean, it has not opened the address bar. So it's going to just reevaluate the screenshot. So I just paused the video. It's reevaluating the screenshot to understand. So it understood that it is still on YouTube and then it is going to the address bar and typing Excalibur, so which is a text literally that it has got the URL. And then it is pasting the URL in the address bar and it is going to press enter click and then open Excalibur. And I'm not doing anything with my mouse at this point at all. So it has gone to Excalibur and then it is trying to draw me something because I've asked it to draw a picture. So it decided that it is going to draw me a house base, which is very nice um, because I would love to see a house. The only thing is the final outcome is not very good at like a house. But it's, it's still beautiful um, that it decided to draw this for me. So it's trying to draw a base first and then, you know, like typically how, at least when I was a kid, this is how we used to draw a house. We used to have a square or a rectangle and a triangle at the top and then sun and probably a couple of birds and trees. It's trying to do the same thing. It took the rectangular tool and then it drew a base and then it is trying to draw the roof. I think it doesn't get the roof, uh, the triangular shape uh, very well because it's trying to take the arrow and then trying to do something with that. So this kind of ends up becoming messy. So the roof is currently a flat roof. Okay, I can live under a flat roof, um, especially if it is uh, coming from AI, I can live with that. So the next it decides to draw a door, a very logical move because I need to enter into the house, right? I can't, I can't enter into the house without a door. So it's trying to logically make sense and try to draw me a door. So how do you draw a door? Take another rectangle and at, put it at the front, like draw it at the front. And it is doing, you can see every single thing that it is doing, the, the exact coordinates of where it is going, every single thing that it is doing, you can see it's trying to draw tree, 
But in the process of drawing tree, uh, it's trying to pick up a freehand drawing tool, but it didn't do that. Rather, it uh, picked up the ellipse tool and then it is trying to draw a tree using that. I think this is again one of the mistakes. Maybe I don't know if it doesn't have enough information about Excalibur because it tried to get a freehand tool. I don't think Excalibur has a freehand tool. Maybe there is a freehand tool. Uh, it would be much better if it decides to use shortcuts like keystrokes and all those things. But right now it is primarily all mostly like mouse and all those things. So it, it assumes that it has drawn me a tree and um, yeah, I don't know if you like the tree. So it's trying to draw me a second tree at this particular coordinates, which is X580 and Y280. It's trying to move the mouse there and then try to drag the, I mean, draw another circle. And it says I've completed drawing a simple house with two trees, let me call the finish function. So it assumes that it has been given a task, the task has been completed, and it is going to just call it done, um, even though it is not done. What do you think, what do you, what do you think about this house? Anyways, let's move on to the next problem. I've gone ahead and then said, can you go to hugging face and find me uh, the trending models? So that's all I want to do. Go to huggingface.co, which is a URL which I did not give, and uh, find me the trending models. At least with this request, you would see it's struggling a lot, primarily because instead of opening a browser, once again, it is trying to go to uh, Firefox. I don't know, God knows some reason it opened my Visual Studio code and it is assuming that it is already in a Firefox. I think the bad thing here is that there is an address bar, so it assumes that this is Firefox. Maybe if there was no address bar, it would have probably, probably thought that it is not on Firefox. I think it kind of, confused it because there is an address bar. Either way, it got it wrong. Uh, I, what I felt is what you would see is once it assumes and opens this and then assumes that this is Firefox, it it takes a, some time for it to get out of it. But at least in this case, it was going on and on. So it just like thinks that it's in Firefox and uh, the address bar is there. The URL is not working. It tries different URLs. It adds the URL again and again. But what it does not do is, I think it reevaluates the screenshot at some point, but even then it doesn't realize that it is not Firefox. I'm quite surprised that it doesn't realize it's not Firefox. Maybe the screenshot with the address bar kind of a setup made it believe that this is Firefox, but bro, you're not on Firefox. I mean like, first of all, it is Visual Studio Code. The theme is Synthwave 64 theme and uh, there is no way in this world, like anybody would think that this is Firefox. And just because there is an address bar doesn't mean everything that has an address bar is Firefox. So at some point I'm like, okay, fine. I don't want to burn all my credits. I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to ask it to exclusively go to Safari and then do this. So I thought, okay, maybe, you know, like, let me restart it. So I said, go to Safari and then do it. And once again, you would notice it makes a mistake. It takes the mouse. And instead of uh, clicking Safari, it clicks my launch pad, which is right next to Safari. Okay. So I don't know if there is a precision issue with at least my Mac, because I've not seen this kind of an issue with a lot of demos, but this is an issue that I've faced. Uh, so once again, to my bad luck, there is an address bar. And because there is an address bar, it assumes that this is Firefox. And then again, it starts typing whatever it wants to do. So I was like, okay, fine. I don't want to burn my credits. So I myself opened Safari, opened Safari and then I'm like, bro, play with this now. And at this point it is like, oh, I am on Safari or whatever that browser is. And uh, it assumes that, you know, it, it, it realizes it's not on hugging face, goes to the address bar, enters the URL and clicks it. Once it clicks it, uh, then uh, it has to go to the model section. So it doesn't give the model URL in itself. It goes there, takes the screenshot, reevaluates it finds where the model is. I think once you it is within the browser, I'm not sure why, maybe in my case, the dock is very small, I'm not sure why, but within the browser, like it does everything very well. I've not seen it missing a lot, except with the free hand tool, went to the models, looked at the trending models. In fact, it has been sorted by trending. So it is looking at the trending models and uh, looking at all the trending models and collects the information for me. And it is going to give me all the information about, uh, okay, this NVIDIA model is the first one, the stability model is the second one, and all the information about trending model is here. And now I'm going to stop it and you can see, okay, first model is the second model is the third model. I've got all the models and everything that it did, you can literally see on the terminal. 
click a button send a message i mean the potential is enormous but for now i wanted it to be a fun video let me i don't know if you had fun but it was uh, it was mind blowing for me let me know what do you think about it um i link the agent exe in the youtube description for you to play with so thank you for uh, watching see you in another video happy prompting